it's Desiree and yes I'm here with my last video at least for this series with swell binders today we are going to focus as I drop it the 3d embossing folder for August of 2023 and this is called a 3d stylized floral we've got some beautiful images in there many ways that you can uh, create your background. So for this one, because I'm trying to show you different ways each month that you can work with your um, embossing folders. I almost forgot there. I am a fan of mixed media and lately I have just been inspired with all of the different mixed medias that I've been seeing with card making. Um, thought it was kind of funny. So I'm like, yeah, let's get back to our roots. So I have a piece of mixed media paper here. Now my trick is, is to work on a piece of glass, spray the back side of the paper and spray the front with water. Um, just a little bit, doesn't, not dripping. Do not let it drip, don't let the water pull. And then I'm going across with my acrylic paints. Yes, these are acrylic paints. I'm using a wide brush. I'm adding some water to the paints because these are thick bodied. Um, I do like the Dick Blick and the Amsterdam paints. And then just putting a light layer. And by having that water down first, two things. First main thing, notice how my paper's not buckling. It's staying flat. It's hanging on. It's like a suction cup to the, to the glass for the paper. I'm also using a platinum uh, metallic paint for some splatters and I will come in with white. Yes, the splatters must be part of the mixed media. Oh yes. I'm using that paper above because I was getting paint everywhere. <laughs> so I was flicking it. Um, so that kind of like helps control it just a little bit. I do apologize. You're not seeing where the splatters are landing. Now, when you're done painting with this, you know, putting putting those colors on, and this can be used um, if you're ink smushing and so forth, but again, you're moving that paper. So this works really well if you're not moving this paper around um, and for backgrounds like this. Um, you could do it if you're ink smushing your ink pads to get colors to paint them onto a background. Uh, and then set this aside to dry. and that's how flat it comes out. It literally will dry flat onto that piece of glass. It does take longer to dry. You've got water on both sides, but it just really does the trick. I'm going to come in with Vintage Photo, and I'm going to go around the edges. Yes, we used pink, we used an ivory, we used like a periwinkle blue. Yes, Vintage Photo still works. Once I have that around the edges, we're going to put it into our embossing folder. And I'm looking at where's the design. I do want to have at least three of those large flowers on my panel. Um, and once that comes out, you get this beautiful image. I'm going to ever so lightly, this blending tool is barely touching the cardstock but I'm rubbing that along the top just to show that image a little bit more. I have a container full of sentiments, whether they were extras that I die cut, gold foiled, or anything like that. And this happy birthday is actually from when Spellbinders did their advent calendar for 2022. Um, so I had that and I figured it would be a great topper and simply add that happy birthday. I'm gonna intertwine the two P's within the B of the birthday and just get that set into place. I will grab some crystal gems and put those in the center of the three large flowers. And since they're clear, they're going to pick up the color of the cardstock, which I think is great. They're very universal, so if you're trying to decide what gems, there's so many colors out there, clear is always the best bet. So here is our card. I did cut this to four by five and a quarter just so I could have that white border since the sentiment had white cardstock in it as well. 
I hope you enjoy. Um, I hope you'll hit that subscribe button, hit the thumbs up, hit the bell if you want to be notified for when the next video is coming, because there certainly is more coming very soon. The products that I used will be listed down below, along to their blog and their gallery, so you can be inspired by others, and also to their shops and, of course, the products that I used in all of their clubs. Enjoy the art that you create. Enjoy the process. Sit back and relax and see what you create today. And remember what's most important. Always be creative, and I will talk to you in the next one. Till then.